Islam, 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 family. Peace and love. Good afternoon, so to say. Um, just a public service announcement of a sort. Islam, peace, y'all. Islam. Public service announcement. All right. Uh, today is the kickoff of Islam, y'all, of uh, Woman's Auxiliary. Okay. Uh, that my wife is running, and uh, we're just really excited. Really excited to, to bring this and to do this. And get with those 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 women of our nation who want to um, excel in what it is to be a mobite, because it's very very important to know what that is. All right. Um, the reason I bring this up is because somebody some people were hitting me up and hit my wife up, going, "Hey, you know, um, there's that." Um, you know, that RV Bay class tonight and stuff, and that's at 7 2. And, uh, you know, you know, we support RV Bay and, uh, Ross Mariah and the mother over there. Um, on that list, she has some topics on her class tonight that are very much needed to be cleared up. Um, and people need to overstand. Um, but this is exactly the point of what we're talking about when we're talking about. What we need is our, in our nation. What are our priorities? Right? What are our priorities as a people? We can't do this until the women are in their true and rightful capacity. We just, we, we can't. It won't come to fruition until the women are where they're supposed to be. So I'm just going to ask you to be honest with yourself because you should go to what? Whichever class that you feel like you're going to get the most benefit out of. But I'm just going to try to say, hey, in structure, it should be like this. The women, you should be coming to this tonight. <laughs> right? And you men, you should be going to the RV Bay thing. And not that women shouldn't go to the RV Bay thing. What I'm saying is in a household... If our women and our men are linked back up and our women are vibrating properly, right, by learning these kind of lessons, I'm telling you, you're going to vibrate to yourself a man that is of that vibration, right? What you think about is what you draw to you. What you pay attention to is what becomes your life. Right. Our women, I personally feel like shouldn't even have to be defending themselves with a lot of law stuff and all this kind of stuff. Not that they shouldn't know it and shouldn't be able to teach it. But that's where we come in. If our nation was operating properly, us as men wouldn't even let a colonizer get his grip on our women. And if so... Um, we would step to defense immediately in the defense of our women and children so that they wouldn't be able to have to worry about knowing how to execute the highest degrees of law, which every more should. That's not what I'm saying at all. But we have a single mother pandemic, right? In our, in our, in our, in our nation, we have a pandemic of, Women who are forced to have to defend themselves because the sons um, aren't activated um, or in the capacity to defend you properly against those who wish to do us harm as a nation. So what would we benefit more from or less, you know, women, let's say we would benefit, obviously, from you learning the duties, learning the responsibility Learning the mindset, learning the vibration of a woman who's going to attract to you an honorable son that will do and be uh, in defense of yourself with you, who will build with you, who will water you because you are a beautiful, delicate flower. 
right? You're not really meant to be out here having to stand up against these tyrants like that. That's why you called us in, all right? But knowing how to be a woman that attracts that kind of man is your duty, the part that you need to understand how to do, right? You know, back in our in our lower self days, or maybe some of y'all still do this, but when we used to go to the club and all that, right? It wasn't popping until uh, they said, hey, ladies night, right? As soon as the club said ladies night, what happens? Does it draw the ladies out? Kinda, kinda, you know, cause they say, hey ladies, get in free before this time and all that. So, you know, it brings the ladies in, in that sense, but what are they really trying to do that for? They're not they're not trying to get the women. Cause women don't buy the drinks. The women don't they don't they don't they don't like to spend their cash on, on the uh what you call it. That's what the men are for. So they say ladies' night at the club or the bar or whatever, so that all the men come with deep pockets and looking to impress and looking to buy drinks and all this kind of stuff, right? Well, it's 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 no different. We gotta take those same principles of when we were um you know, lower self and apply them to what's happening now. If you, if the women know how to be wives, if the women know how to activate with a man, all right? If a woman knows how to follow what the prophet said, you know, obey your husband, not because you obey him because you, you know, you're his ward. We serve each other. You know, ask my wife and y'all will find out that we'll 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 serve each other. Um, that's that's how uh, marriage really works and all that kind of stuff. But the women and a great question what my what my brother just brought up here. Where do the men go to get activated and learn? Is there a gathering or a podcast? Well, that's the whole key of what I'm getting at in the long run, in the long affair of this thing, the women they get active the the men get activated by mothers mothers who are grounded in true spiritual gnosis who are grounded in nationality principles who are grounded in the foundations of law who are grounded in um the knowledges uh of our culture of our customs of our religion because the son receives that in the womb all right and then he has taught those lessons when he is on the breast of his mother. He's taught those lessons as he grows up and the mother is teaching him how to be a proper Muslim man because she's given him his science. She's given him his birthright knowledge. When you do that as a, as a, as a woman, as a mother, and you give that to the sons, then there's not too much more constructive uh, or, 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 or specific lessons that you necessarily have to give him he based on his chart and his astrology and who he is as a son he will then and you will then know um how to structure those 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 lessons so that he can go off into what vibrates best with 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 he you know with him so um i get what you're saying like where do we go for the men and all this kind of stuff but uh that's that's you know the whole point is that um we're doing it. The men are, are doing what we can. We need the women to say only this type of man is acceptable for me. All right. There's too many Muslim women who, because of a so-called lack of men or whatever, they go and get with a uh, Negro, black or colored and try to change him. Well, if you can't find Muslim men who are of a high standard, then you must take a long look in the mirror. And you must realize that who and what are you, what are you portraying? What vibration are you giving off to deserve the type of man that you know is going to activate you? Okay, and that's just being real. So the men go, we go, we own, we know. You, you come to my pages, you, you know, you go to Canaan lands, you go in and you're learning from Taj Tariq Bay. The men are teaching and have been doing that. Um, you know what I'm saying. There's a lot of and little and, 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 and it's, it's, it's getting sometimes out of hand because there's a lot of ego. There's a lot of pride involved in it, too, where some of these people like to hear the sound of their own voice or <clears throat> they're not really working on solutions. They just figured out a whole bunch of stuff and they want to share it. 
But our women are supposed to be protected at all costs. Okay? At all costs. Um, so the women go to the same guys who are teaching these lessons and stuff. They end up on the pages of my page and Canaan Land and all this kind of stuff. But what would be better than that? Them having their own, their own man that they can draw water from. So that our women aren't starved out here for knowledge. Okay? Shalom, shalom, Islam, huh? Right? Because then she can draw from a source that is right next to her, that's, that is, is vibrating right, that um, has great knowledge, that has the ability to stand for her um, on a personal and a physical level as well. Because our women need security. Women love to feel secure. Women don't love money. Women are not gold diggers for the sake of the money. They like money because in this society, money equals security, or so they think. So they chase men with money. All right? Um, but when a spiritual woman understands the truth and she understands who she is, we realize that knowledge is power. And so she is attracted to the men of knowledge because men of knowledge are the men of power. All right? So we have to um, we have to understand that we can only do so much as we can as 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 sons. All right. We'll go and figure out a lot of that stuff and come and bring it back to the women um, as best we can, because we're doing that now. We need you women to activate your principles. Your principle is not the, the position of. Physical protector. Your principle is the part of spiritual protector. You're actually the high protection mechanism. You're actually our protection. Okay? We need you women more than you need us in a certain sense. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll admit that. Um, I'll admit that. Um, but understand that since we are here cohabiting this plane... We need each other because the best parts of me are in you and the best parts of you are in me. And um, we're just here to link them back up and give them to one another and do this thing right. OK, so the women. Uh, this is why my wife and I are trying to reestablish these things, not because we started them. This is the. This is the outline. You know how the Nation of Islam, they do and how their women are and they wear all white and you definitely can't um, um, touch them. <laughs> you know, they, they just have an air about themselves that, you know, licentiousness, lustful ways and thoughts don't even seem to be on their mind. You know, they're, they're not even worried about these kind of things and that they're 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 preoccupied in mind with the business and the work of the nation, raising the children, doing the things. And therefore, they afford themselves the type of men who lay down the drinking, who lay down the smoking, who lay down the uh, hanging out all night. And then it becomes a badge of honor to be um, a type of man that a woman of such high caliber will will respect and see as a worthy king. Right. But if we still Negro, black and color with feathers on, if we still Negro, black and color with fringes on, then we're not bringing that vibration um, that is going to uplift fallen humanity. All right. But it starts with the women. And I say that because whether you want to believe this or not, women, you are the power. We're in this position because of the women. So we've got to get out of this position with the women. Woman, womb man is the mother of all humanity. There is no getting out of this state until you get out of this state. Men, we can sit up on the mountaintop and preach all dang day and get a, gather a whole bunch of men around us. All right, cool. There's our military. Where's our moral standard? Where's our, um, our, our economic standard? That's mom. That's woman. Okay. So I'm not I'm not in any kind of way telling anybody not to go to um 
the um, the class tonight. Uh, I was just pointing that out because people were asking us, hey, you know, RV Bay is doing their thing, and RV Bay is the treasure trove of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. But women, your main concern, if I was you, <laughs> would be getting myself out here and trying to find out what do I need to do to garner myself one of these Moorish kings, all right, so that I can activate on all levels, right? Um, because we're a working mechanism. We work in tandem. That's just the setup. They tried to tell you that in the movie Hancock and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to tell you, men want women who ultimately have their best interests at heart. But men want women who have morals and values. Men want women who display culture, custom. Men want women who they don't got to worry about getting into any shenanigans. Men like women who are pure um, and not pure and not pure in the way you you're a virgin and all this kind of whatever. That has nothing to do with it. We have all lived our life experiences and we've all been dirty, but we can all be clean again because we clean our minds up. That's the true purity. So finding women with pure minds um, that, that seek to do righteousness, that have innocence in their eyes, that, that have cast aside the, the old standard of living, that's where you're going to incite us men, uh, the Muslim sons, to activate and to truly protect you at the highest level. You know, I don't want you, you know... On here, making a fool of yourself, or our nation, or us, um, because um, it's done for being the laughing stock of the world or whatever. They laugh when we down, but when our women come back to their principles, moral standards, how they conduct themselves, when our women know how to um, be of their culture, their customs, wrap those heads, all right, wrap those heads, be be um, be who you are. Be your ancestors, right? Then you activate that latent DNA. Then you are the more um, and bringing that vibration back that our nation so desperately needs. All right. I don't like the fact. I don't even like the fact that women have to come to me or any of the sons and go, hey, I need help with this. I need help with this, you know, law. All these people take my children and stuff like that. And it's like, you know. It's, it's crazy, and it puts a, a pain in my heart, truly, because I can't help but think, like, if, this, if our women just had us operating at our capacity, they wouldn't even be in this, this state. And then my mind goes even further back and realizes that if the women chose to not be in this capacity, it would be almost an overnight change. If our women decided to hold themselves to the standard of their ancestors, to the standard of the women that came before them, the sons will surely follow. We go wherever y'all go. We will go to the ends of the earth. All right. There's dudes who have hopped in their car and traveled a state across to go get with some chick he'd have met online that week. Where you women lead, we will follow. But you and, and, and you can see the result of that from where we are in our society now. That was proof. It's proof. So here's the proof. You start living like this. OK, you start getting back to the principles. Of who you are and what you represent. This going to be overnight. So not to give all the goody goodies away, but let's just say. You're going to be going over a very great list of instructions approved by the prophet of how a woman conducts themselves, gossiping, how not to use your tongues, mannerisms, manners, dangers of inactivity, overweightness, right? Combing and brushing the hair, Moorish care products. OK. Right. Muslim girls, sisters in a student class creed, 100 do's and don'ts of Muslim girls, 
How to keep the house. Ooh. Huh? Huh? I'll be seeing them pictures. Y'all be on y'all be all cute dialed up, ready to go to the club, but then that room be toe up. I'm just being real. The Muslims courtship. Sisters Auxiliary, Student Class Creed, right? How to take care of your husband? Because if you ha know how to take care of your husband, you have a great chance of securing one. All right? Muslim girls training. How to rear them children. Right? Obedience. And remembers Lot's wife. She didn't obey. Husband said, look, don't turn around and look at this. Or you're going to turn into that pillar of salt. Y'all remember, come on, we Moors. This is our this is this is our grandpa, Lot. Father of who? Right? Moab, right? So we gotta understand. That was all analogies. Those are stories for what happens to disobedient women who don't who don't obey their protector. If you don't obey your protector, then you're basically saying you got a better protector. Oh, okay, you don't want to listen to, to Muslim to Muslim son. Well then, who else gonna protect you? And then when we stop listening to Muslim son, because you got the power, because this, the children are in your womb, and you decided to put whatever into them, and I'm just talking about our our foremothers, then Muslim son starts to change. <laughs> we start to act different. Okay, so remember this. The Moorish Divine and National Movement. The old Canaanite temple came in 1913, Newark, New Jersey, Newark, New Jerusalem. The Moorish Holy Temple of Science came next. The Moorish Science Temple of America, religious organization. And this is how it's supposed to be run. Schools for, ooh, look at that. Schools for Moorish children, pretty much first priority. Right? Industry and businesses, press, newspapers, and literature. Okay, that's tier one. Then, Young Men's Business League. Look at that. My brother said, what is the men supposed to do? Young Men's Business League is a, is a good thing. If anybody wants to start looking into starting those kind of things, maybe I'll look more deeper into, you know, we, 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 we definitely... Um, I just don't have a league. We do business. Maybe we need to have our league. Maybe we need to take our resources, pull them together and support each other's businesses, group economics to build each other's businesses so that we are running all industry that we can. All right. But look at that. Woman's auxiliary. So think about young men's business league is what's going on kind of now. <laughs> you know, the men are all online teaching every. You know, you got these great master teachers and great moors who find knowledge and study and giving it all to us. Women's auxiliary. OK, it's funny how women's auxiliary auxiliary leads into. Right. And it comes from industry and business and leads into Moorish community development. Right. Because when the women is right now, we can talk about the Moorish communities. What are we going to do with a community full of full of. Uh, Half in, half out women. Half, half turban, half not turban, you know, women. Half, we got to start to be who we are because the children are watching. I want my children to grow up in a Moorish community. From the store to the, to the temple, to the out at the park, to the going to pick up the groceries. I want them to see turbans and fezzes. People being polite and kind to one another. Men making sure that they are all protected. All men on guard. And servicing each other as a nation does. That's a Moorish community. Holistic society. Yep. It's a beautiful thought. Then. Then. Civics and law, because now you didn't got your schools. You didn't got your for, for first. You got your temple. You got your religious foundation intact. Now you didn't got your schools. You got your businesses. You got your press and your books and your grand sheets and putting out books and all that kind of stuff. So honest to all the grand sheets who produce literature. 
and do what they're supposed to do. Then you got your business, young businessman's league, right? So now you can perpetuate uh, young men who are pretty much groomed to be able to take over business that we've created through the nation. Now you got the men ready to go. You got your women's auxiliary who do the woman's part in those businesses and creating that kind of function. Right? Because the women can do business too. All that kind of stuff, you know. Women deserve to, you know, be able to put their best efforts forward in any any um, industry because we're doing it together. Nobody can circumscribe the best business ideas that going to come from a man. You know what I'm saying? Um, Moorish community develop, development because now we got the business set up. We can get the communities together because we got the finance. We got our paper set up so nobody's getting lied to. Everybody knows what's up in the nation, right? The schools, everything's popped off. Now we can, now we know what's up. Here come the civics and law because we are a well oil machine. So now when we go into these venues or get pulled into these venues, we shouldn't even have to do too much of a crazy writ because all this is working in such fluid that they know and observe exactly who we are, but at the same time, we have the power and the economic situation to back it up. That's one of the biggest problems with our. Sometimes the rich work, sometimes they don't. Do they know who the Moors are? Of course. Have they seen people come in there with turbans and fezes and cuss them out and all this stuff? Yes, all these courts have dealt with Moors. <laughs> they near, besides if you live in, you know, so called all Albion communities or whatever. Anywhere you deal with a big city or, you know, whatever, they they, they know who the mo moors are. This ain't no mystery. Our problem is not our writs not getting put together right. Our problem is not this kind of stuff. Our problem is lower self. Our problem is not following the instructions of a di divine prophet and acting like we can, you know, pick and choose what pieces to the pie that we want to observe and what we don't want to observe. And then wonder why things ain't running like a well-oiled machine. Well... If you leave off one of the wheels on your car, is that going to help you or hurt you to get to where you're trying to go? Okay, let's just be, this is simple stuff. So we want to go and be barristers and civic masters, but divine law governs physical law. So if you're not divinely in tune, then how are you going to go and be all cases and activate the true spirit of law. You are the spirit of law. If you're holding your spirit down because we can't be higher self or, you know, attempt to be that as much as we can do, much as we can understand, then the writs and the, all that stuff only get you so far. They only get you so far. Practicing these things Law, all this stuff without being in divine order is like the same thing as doing black magic in the sense, okay? You're still tackling and battling lower self consistently. Don't go out here practicing black magic because then you're practicing things with ignorance. That's what black magic is. All right. Um, yeah, Islam, bro. Where can you find these books? RV Bay. Publications.com and KhalifaMedia.com. Uh, what pamphlet is that? This is the Moorish Divine and National Movement of the World. Um, you get this from RV Bay and like tons of free stuff when you order books from from them. All right, so you'll get this pamphlet. They give you like five different, six different types of pamphlets. And what you're supposed to do with those is you're supposed to take those pamphlets, go make a zillion copies of each one and hand them out and give knowledge and information to those who don't know what this Morris movement is uh, necessarily about. Right. So, yeah, that's, that's what that is. Um, so life is a dichotomy. It always presents you a choice. So you can either go left or right. 
And um, if you are a woman who is on top of your game, your house is in order to uh, in the spiritual sense, you know what I'm saying? You know the steps and the things to protect your man and all that kind of stuff. You have a husband or a man and all that kind of thing. Um, you set up. Y'all might want to check out the, uh, the, the, you know, the law situation if you're not versed in that. But if you are still trying to get yourself together, still trying to work and conquer lower self, still knowing that there's inadequacies in your life that you want to, I mean, big ones. We all might have, you know, but things that like, I'm still doing this when I was, I'm, when I was black and Negro colored, I did this all the time. And now that I'm a more, I still do it all the time. Those things, um, then you might want to get with your with your fellow mothers and come to find out the truth about your nationality and birthrights. Because a part of your birthright is your behavior. Right? Behavior. Beehive. Your savior. <laughs> Beehive. Right? When you... Pay attention to your behavior, beehive, right? Isn't the bee the ancient, revered insect of, of the moors and all that kind of stuff? And we got the, the bee on the turban and all that kind of stuff. Why do you think we do the bee? Why do you think the bee is so significant to the moors? Because the bees show you how to beehive or behave, right? To beehive is to... Be working in divine order together. And who's the center of the of the hive? The queen. The mother. And who does all the work? Who keeps everything? The house in order? The women. All those bees in that hive, in case you didn't know this, are women. There's only a few. Men, they call drones, <laughs> right? And they're pretty much, they just mate. Fortunately, we're not bees and we are man. So we have a much higher dynamic of gender role than that. But the principles are the same. Men, we're doing this because we we have to. We're swinging shimitars because who else is going to swing? But when our woman decides to get intact, and be hive and work together, the honey will flow. The honey will flow. All right. So don't go be in the dang. <laughs> yeah, Cujo, we drones, bro. It's all good. We doing what we can. We doing what we can. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, praises to our law that we don't have to just be uh you know, literal drones and that we are the, like I said, the best parts of mother and mother is the best parts of us. So it's, it's, it's a wonderful yin yang that we get to experience as man. Reading in the Holy Quran the other day or yesterday, you know, does any other animal blush? <laughs> does any other animal get embarrassed? You know, think about that. It's just, it's just one of them things like, dang. Man is an amazing thing, you know, if we allow ourselves to be. And this is man. Okay. I came from her. I don't know. I don't know about the rest of you, but I came from I came from her. All right. So since I came from her, I got to de de defend her and, and, and lead her back. If she forgot who she is. Right. We got to lead her back to this. All right. So, barristerism is good. You got to know how to protect yourself at law, but living higher self is better. I'm just being real. You think about higher self and polishing up yourself and scrubbing off that dirt and getting those <coughs> together so you can shine like pure gold, gold likened unto pure and to glass. You won't have a problem. You won't have a problem. And that's just, that's just how it goes. Will things happen to you in your life? Yeah. But will you have a problem? No, because you won't even see the things that are happening as problems. 
you'll understand the divine mechanism that is called life. Give you the ability to have something higher than happiness called joy. Joy deep down in your heart that can't be taken away. That's how you vibrate and activate law. You are the law. The only problem we're having is we're not being ourself. So if we're not being the law, then here comes law situations all the time. I'm trying to remind you, be yourself. Hi yourself. Who are you? A part of Allah. Right? So, uh, yeah, bro. Yeah, you know we're going to keep it up going over here. Till the dang wheels fall off. And then we're going to jump out the car and start running. Till the feet fall off. And then when they fall off, we're going to crawl. And then when that happens, we're going to roll. The head just going to roll. And when that stops, the eyeballs going to pop out and they going to keep rolling. You dig what I'm saying? We ain't going to stop. Because, uh, you know, my life and our lives are here uh, to be served for one another. You feel me? This is the way, straight up. So, um, Women's Auxiliary, tonight at 7. Others, get in tune. See what the prophet uh, approved for you. Gentlemen, RV Bay, civics class, tonight, 7. If, you, if, your, if your household is rocking like that, I would suggest men, you watch the RV Bay, you take your notes. Women, you come to auxiliary and take your notes. <clears throat> and then you have a wonderful pillow talk tonight. And uh, get yourself in divine order, because that's divine and national right there. All right. So peace and love, Moors. Islam. Praise, all praise due to our, our Allah. Highest honors to Prophet Noble Ju Ali and the noble forerunner Marcus Mosaic Garvey. All my brothers, all my grand sheiks, all the Moors who kept these doors open and this knowledge flowing. Honors to you. Honors to my mother. Honors to my my Regina, my 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 Empress, and my children. All right, and all their mothers. All right. Well, I say all their mothers. You know, I got I got three. I got three three wives. <laughs> all right. So peace and love, y'all. Islam. Love you all.